How's it going? It's been a hot minute since I covered this topic, but now that we're at the house and have had a chance to settle in, I was reminded that I had not been tumbling any rocks recently. Now, in the past I had done those mixed set of, of rocks from various parts of the world, and those were fun and fascinating. But what I found was, and this makes perfect sense, when you have different types of rocks, different densities, different hardness being tumbled together, the soft rocks are gonna get beat up by the hard rocks and the soft rocks are going to very rapidly dwindle in size and ultimately disappear. So what I thought I wanted to do in the next attempts that I make is I want to, to run the same types of rocks in the tumbler. So this first set I'm going to do it's a favorite of mine. We have some lapis lazuli. Lapis is beautiful. It's varied in color. Not really in color, but in composition, in the way, you know, it, 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 it looks. It's not just a flat color. It's very, very blue, as you can see. Very pretty, and it's got a lot of inclusions and other things in it that, that make each individual rock unique. So we're really excited to get these started. Uh, yeah, as you know, well know, this is going to take a month, but uh, I'm going to share you know, each step as I always have with you. It's going to be a lot easier now that I'm not in my apartment and have to lug that cruddy water down the stairs and out the door. So uh, this is going to be fun, and we're going to share this with you, and in a month, we'll see what we get. But let's go, uh, let's go get this uh, batch of lapis in the tumbler here and see what it turns out to be. All right, we're ready to get tumbling here. We've got our lapis. As you can see, I have two pounds. I have it in a little, a little paint, uh, paint painter's tray, just to keep it together and not falling all over the place. So there we go. Now, this is two pounds of lapis. In theory, this is a two pound tumbler. So we're going to find out whether or not it's two pound tumbler. I don't think it is. We're going to fill it up as much as we think we can because the rocks have to be able to move in there to get the edges knocked off. This is the first, uh, first five days of this on the course grid is for knocking off the sharp edges. Well, if it can't move, it can't, it can't uh, get the edges knocked off. So we'll put as much as we feel is appropriate. I don't think we're going to get them all in, so we may have extras to run later. But let's uh let's see how many we can get in here. I like this one. This one's super blue. Can you see it? There's one that has a lot of pyrite on it. Look at how much fool's gold that has. That's probably gonna get knocked off pretty quickly, but I'm curious to see how that responds. Well, put them all in and see what we think. I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna be okay. Alright, well let's uh put our grain our coarse grain in. One tablespoon. And uh, we'll fill it with water and we'll let it rip. That's a little short of a tablespoon. We're gonna add just a little bit more. Now the good news is, at least as far as my girlfriend is concerned, is that we now have the garage out there where I can uh, run this without there being a lot of noise. One of her biggest complaints was that there was some noise in the apartment and they were subject to it. 
because we didn't have a lot of space to work through. So, uh, got a garage. We're going to run this in the garage. Feels like a good seal. Sounds like things are going to move around well. All right, well, let's uh, take this outside into the garage and um, load it up. Now, we're going to run this at high speed for five days. When that five days is done, we will uh, start the next round as per usual. It's a little dark out here, so I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. But you'll have to trust me. Ouch. All right, so there it is. All right, we're going to go five days at high speed and go. All right, there we have it. Uh, we'll see you back here in five days and see what it looks like. All right, see you then. All right, it's been five days, so this first phase is done. Let's go ahead and break this open and see what uh, see what we got. First thing is there weren't, were no leaks, so this having sat idle for a few months and then being reused, not an issue at all. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go dump this out. Now, remember, we have to not let this go down the sink, so we have a bucket standing by. Ooh, pretty. All right, it's all cleaned up. It looks pretty nice. All the rough edges appear to be pretty well knocked off. We have some nice pretty ones. You see the edges are getting well rounded. We do have a lot of chips knocked off, chunks and stuff. So that, that's all fine. But uh, overall, see it looks really, really nice. Well, now it's time for phase two. We have our step two medium grit. And we're gonna run this for seven days on speed two. So uh, let's get these in the tumbler. Let's get everything set up and let's get it back out there. One tablespoon of the medium. Alright, I'm just going to take this out, put it on speed two for seven days, and uh, you don't need to come with me. Uh, I think you can trust me to do this. In the meantime, uh, well, I guess we'll see you in a week. Alright, it's the end of week two. Let's go ahead and break this open, rinse these off, and get the next uh, set of grit rolling. This time we'll be using the uh, step three pre-polished grit. And... Uh, I don't know, let's see what we got. Ooh. All right, mm -hmm. look at that, it smells too, by the way, in case you were wondering. All right, let's get this rinsed off and uh, we'll show you what we got. Look at that, that's beautiful. As I suspected, the one with the uh, pyrite is kind of losing the pyrite, sadly. All right, so that's only two weeks in, looking very nice. 
Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we're about to put in the pre-polish and load it up and run it again. Now the next run will be for seven days at the slowest speed. So, all right, let's get these rocks in the tumbler, get the uh, grit in there and get it uh, filled up with water and let's get it out there. All right, now seven days on the slowest speed. We'll see you back here in a week. All right, it's the end of week three. We've got the uh, rocks off the uh, tumbler and we are ready to unpack them and see what we got. Um, after we are done uh, cleaning these up, putting them back, we'll be working on step four, which is the polish step and We'll run this again for a seven day period at the lowest speed. So let's go ahead and get this uh, opened up and cleaned up and let's see what we got. Not too bad. Let's, uh, let's get this emptied out and cleaned up. Very nice. All right, so here we have them. This is after week three. Let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, put them in the tumbler and uh, get the step four polish on and get them on and we'll be done a week from today. All right, here we go, the last week. Let's get it on the, uh, the roller. We'll see you next week for the finale. All right, it's that time, week four. We're done tumbling. We're gonna uh, go ahead and rinse these rocks off and take a look at them and uh, see what we think. Be right back. Yep, we do have a lot that still have the pyrite on them. Wow, look at that. Super pretty. This is much less lapis than anything else, just a couple of little striations on it. How blue that one is. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Tumbled lapis. Only took a month. Looks beautiful. Pretty happy with them overall. Um, got a nice bowl we're going to keep them in. All right, there you have it. I, I, I don't know what episode this is of Tumbling. It's been too long to have an episode, I suppose. It's just something I'm gonna do every now and then. 
I guess we'll see you next time around when we do it. I don't know what we're going to be tumbling. I don't know. It's just something I do on a whim. Anyway, uh, come back for the next uh, thing we got going on. See what I think. What do I think is going to be next? Well, we got a really special jerky thing coming up. Ooh, and I got a really long-term project I'm working on too that I'll share with you here in a little bit. Uh, but I don't want to spoil the beans here just yet. All right, well, there you go. Blue Lapis, tumbled in the tumbler. Pretty happy with it. We'll see you later.